Hi everybody and welcome to today's LEGO Technic video. What I'd like to present to you today is my latest project. It's a remote controlled forklift. Now the idea of this particular project was to make a model that was as functional and as playable as possible. So what I've implemented is the ability to drive forwards and backwards, to steer using this uh, articulation mechanism. And not only that, you can uh, raise and lower the forks using these two uh, small medium motors. So if you'd like to hear more about this project, uh, please keep watching. Okay, so like I said, the steering is implemented using articulation. Now what articulation means is you're pretty much bending the model in the middle and that offsets the front wheels from the rear wheels at an angle that allows it to steer. And one of the advantages of articulation is that it generally gives you a greater angle of rotation. So you can get a very uh, tight turning circle and that's ideal for, of course for a forklift uh, working in tight spaces. And the way I've Im implemented the articulation is through a power function servo motor. Now the great thing about the power function servo motor is that the way it works is that it always rotates at 90 degree angles. So for example here I've got an example of the servo motor connected to this axle and what it does will either rotate 90 degrees clockwise or 90 degrees anti-clockwise and when you let go of the remote it will automatically recenter itself back to the middle. So what that means is that it automatically recenters the steering mechanism back to neutral allowing to just carry on driving forwards or backwards. So I'll just give you a demonstration. I've got my remote here, so when I move the remote forward, it will rotate that um, articulation system like this, and the angle of articulation or rotation of that articulation axle there or lift arm is it's about 64 degrees because of a gearing ratio of 20 to 28 between these two gears. If I rotate in another direction, it will do it in reverse and forward. So like you can see there, it always returns back to the sensor which is ideal for steering. So that's how the steering has been implemented on this particular forklift. Okay so that was the steering mechanism and I'll tell you about the actual driving of the forklift. So that's been implemented using a large power functions motor. So that motor is embedded here that goes through this uh, axle which then connects onto a 3 to 1 gearing ratio. So that's an 8 tooth driving and 24 tooth and then that 24 tooth is connected to a 20 tooth gear that then connects onto the 28 teeth of this differential and the differential of course connects straight onto the rear axles. So the overall gearing ratio between the motor and the uh, axles is about 0.24 so if you multiply out a third times 20 over 28 you get about 0.24 about a quarter and these wheels are uh, 49 and a half millimeter wheels uh, diameter by a 20 millimeter thick which is a good size for this forklift. And of course with such minimal gearing it also means that it's uh, quite strong, good torque, very little uh, you know, friction loss and uh, or, or no gear slippage as well. Okay and finally the forks are raised and lowered using these uh, two medium sized motors. Now I ended up with two of them rather than one because I couldn't find a good place to uh, fit it into the middle. And just having it on one side looks a bit uh, one sided so I thought I'd make it nice and symmetrical by having two of them. Now these both drive uh, worm gears and the worm gears connect onto uh, 24 tooth clutch gears and of course you need the clutch gears so once the uh, forks do reach the limit either at the top or the bottom uh, those gears will slip and these gears then drive under here a, a sprocket gear that connects onto this track and then the track is used for connecting onto the forks themselves for the lowering and raising. So that is how the uh, front forks uh, raise and lower. Uh, I'll now demonstrate the model in action. Okay, to demonstrate the model in action, here's my remote. So what I've got is my three functions. One is driving forwards and backwards, one is articulated steering, and one is for raising and lowering the forks, uh, and one sphere function, which I haven't used. Okay, so let's just turn it on. We'll just start by driving forwards and backwards. Uh, pretty straightforward, look at that. Forward, back, got good speed, not too fast, not too slow. And then we've got our articulated steering. Very good turning circle, left and right, we can drive like this. And finally I will drive around here and raise my forks. Here they go, up. Of course once they reach the limit it will just slip the clutch gears. And then uh, lowering the forks. And again, once it reaches the limit, those clutch gears will slip. And okay, so let's try and actually do something useful. 
let's move some boxes. So here I've got a box to pick up. Um, I will edge over to it, take the fork down, and drive onto it, raise the fork. Look at that, picked it up. You can now drive backwards. Oh, almost fell off. Let's drive forward then. Ah. Okay, let's see if we can pick up this important Lego water. Okay, drive forward very gently. Lower the forks. About the right height and go. Oh, look at that. One shot. Straight up. Okay, one important delivery on the way. Oh no, smashed it. Ah! Okay, it doesn't look like I was very good at doing anything constructive, so let's see if we can uh, do some damage instead. Okay, let's push this guy along. Yep, and let's see if we can flip him. There we go. Look at that lifting power. Just need a push. And yes, look at that. Success, finally. Well done. Alright, so that concludes the presentation of my remote controlled forklift. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.